everybody can get a nice big wide view of the Nepali coast and I'll try to make it as flat as possible. Bali High, also known as Makana, actually the real name of that ridge is Makana, but uh, since the filming of the movie South Pacific in the late 50s, you'll see that called Bali High. Bali High! Like that. And then K, that's the start of the North Shore, and the northern boundary of the Nepali coast, right there. Well, in the wintertime, we have a lot of humpbacks, uh, humpback wells, right in this area. It's a good spot. We'll roll out. There, and you can see what I'm talking about. A little bit nicer view looking back towards the south with the lighting being what it is. That's a NASA tracking station up there on the top. And I think what they do is track space debris. I believe what the, that's what that is. So the angle change is marked by K.A. Beach right there. That's where the island becomes the North Shore. That beach, K.A., is a very popular place, and you'll see that if you drive there. They also call it end of the road. That's because you can't drive any further than that. Got a protected lagoon there, and it's real pretty. Got that protected lagoon by the reef. Uh, so a lot of folks will, will go to that beach. It's uh, The downside is the parking. That's just a, a little forewarning for you. If you're going to go there, you need to go there a little late or get lucky and arrive there as somebody, somebody is leaving. That's how I normally do it. I don't know, the last couple times we've gone there, I've been real lucky. Just as I'm getting there, somebody is leaving. Tunnels, located out the right door. Tunnels is a popular place to swim and snorkel in the summertime. So in the wintertime, this is the North Shore, so it's no different than any of the other Hawaiian Islands. It gets uh, very, very rough up here. The community of Hyanna. Diana is known for its celebrity homes. I was checking out the tax map. You know, it's posted online. You can just look at who. But you know, what's funny is a lot of these homes are listed as LLCs, are limited liability corporations. So most of them are under a corporate name. So it's pretty hard to determine. Uh, I do know that uh, Pierce Brown's got a house down here on the beach, and then also Drew Barrymore, uh, Beth Midler, she has a house as well. That is Princeville off the front of the helicopter and Hanalei Bay. What we're going to do is turn and beach in here at Lumahai. This is called Wainiha Bay out the right door. 
I like to beach in at Luma High because there are no homes here in Luma High that uh, we have to fly over when we beach in. And then you can see the taro fields down there, the taro. Taro is a plant that was brought here by the Polynesians when they migrated to the Hawaiian Islands. It used to make a substance called poi, and if you've been to a luau, I'm sure you've tried it. Bernice Pauahi Bishop. So this is all bishop land, and they are the largest private landowner. Got all the waterfalls. We got a lot of rain last night. So all these waterfalls you see all through here, uh, those are waterfalls that only flow when it's raining. Lumahai Valley and Wainiha Valley. The Robinsons own this lower portion, and then the upper portion is owned by Alexander Baldwin. Bernice Pauahi Bishop. She was a direct descendant of King Kamehameha and as a young lady she received a lot of land as an inheritance. And so um, she was supposed to marry her cousin. That was an arranged marriage. But she defied her family. She ended up marrying a fellow by the name of Charles Bishop. Charles Bishop was a successful businessman there in Honolulu. They were married for about 15 years and she passed away in 1884 and in her will she left all her property, all her wealth to benefit the children of Hawaii. So her husband set up a trust called the Bishop Estates and uh, that's now responsible for the Kamehameha school system. So all the schools the big campuses on Maui, uh, let's see, Maui, the Big Island, and Oahu. They don't have a big, uh, they don't have a big campus here. These waterfalls don't have a name. <laughs> this, uh, this mountain is called Mount Namalakama. It's the west-facing side of Namalakama. This waterfall that you see coming into view off our right front does. It's called Namalakama Falls. And it is viewable from uh, parts of Princeville and then also Hanalei over here on the left. I'll do a little turn out here. That's Kilauea off the nose of the helicopter and as we come around we've got uh, Anini, Kalihivai, and then Princeville. All these fields, again, taro fields. Taro grows in similar conditions as rice. Hey, uh, 